get them and messed up, and that it is trading Odell Beckham is a mission that this team is a lot farther away than what he anticipated after he went all in. I mean, come on, man. Now you're trying to sell me Daniel Jones, man. Come on, man. You just told me. Well, you just told me that Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, like none of them was good enough. But then you want me to buy Daniel Jones? Hey, man, listen, don't listen. Don't insult my intelligence. Well, get ready to be insulted. Take a look. We really haven't seen anything that he can't do uh, in terms of uh, playing quarterback. And so now it's just a matter of going out and doing it. In my mind, he's exceeded expectations. He's very smart. And um, I think as everybody gets to know him, you know, we, we had more of the information about Daniel Jones than some of the people that, that have covered him. And so excuse, we're less excuse, surprised excuse, stop, about stop, things stop, than stop, maybe some stop, other people stop, are. Stop, 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 Damn it, stop. You had more information than the people that covered him. You didn't even find out about him until the senior bowl. You said you hadn't even looked at any tape. Lies on top of lies, man. I am not about to sit up here for the whole summer and listen to this BS. We knew he could throw the ball. We knew he could move around. We knew he was smart. Uh, we knew he could. He was tough. So we knew all those things, and he hasn't dis- disappointed us in any of those areas. But I tell you what, it's going to be very interesting because we're going to find out real soon what type of player Daniel Jones is because guess what? Eli is going to play about, yeah, one snap. Maybe one, maybe three snaps in the first preseason game when they play the Jets because they only played, they played the Jets this season. They're playing them the first game and not the third game. So guess what Daniel Jones is going to do? He's going to come in that second drive. Guess what? The starting defense is still going to be on that starting drive. And guess what gets put in whenever you have a coordinator named Williams, Ryan, Wade. They're going to have damn near all the blitz packages in, and the offensive line ain't, ain't going to have been and worked on those type of blitzes yet. And Danny Jones will get the hell beat out of him. And we're going to see how talented he is and how good he can take a, t- a punch to the chin. And let's see if he responds then. Throwing to uh, Golden Tate, who I respect and know as a person. But come on, man. He ain't running past nobody. And you got Sterling Shepard, who I respect. Maybe Evan, Evan Ingram can get loose. But it's going to be tough sled. Look, I wasn't. Because Saquon ain't going to be in there either. I wasn't a fan of the pick. Okay? I wasn't a fan of the pick. But at this point, I'm just more excited about him to see what he is than anything else. So I'm curious as to when that's going to be. So dumb, man. It's, the, it's so dumb. Why? Because they're not going to win any games well, this, this year. Well, this is my point. It's going to be a come up. The point. longer that, the, that Eli's out there, the longer that you're fooling yourselves. But what I'm saying is. Eli, this is how I see it going. They come out, they struggle early. They may not be horrible. They may not be one in seven horrible, but they may lose some games and be in some good games. And the offense may look good, but at some point you're going to be out of it. You're going to put Daniel Jones in. Daniel Jones is going to get in late. I don't know if they're going to want Eli to play his last game ever with the team. So he's not going to end the last game of the season. And then you're going to look up and you're going to be a top five pick. And guess what you're going to be staring at? From Tua. Herbert, all the guys in which you're going to be in draft position where you can draft those guys, and you're going to have to ask yourself in your mind, do I want to go with those guys, or do I want to stick with Daniel Jones, who I've seen for three weeks? We really haven't seen anything that you can't do uh, in terms of uh, playing quarterback. <laughs> been playing the damn shorts. He ain't got touched yet. He been sitting in the pocket brave, sitting high, chest out like a peacock. Let's Come tell on. the truth here, okay? <sighs> Daniel Jones is going to start October 20th at home against the Cardinals. That's when it begins. Nah, man. they go. It's, it's the week after the Patriots. They'll have the ex, little extra time. Patriots Thursday man, night game, is it not? You said October? What, what October game is that? 20th. That'll what, be that'll be week seven. Nah, man. Do you think they're going to bench Eli for that many weeks? I think if they're one and five and they get beat up by the Patriots and they get a little extra time uh, to work with in between games. They got 10 days in between games. Nah, nah, I nah. think you'll see him. I think you'll see Daniel Jones. I mean, now. Kurt Warner, Eli replaced Kurt Warner. Like week eight, week eight or week nine. Right. I think you think they're going to have Eli Manning sit on the bench for seven weeks and then in his Giants career without playing the last game where they can give him flowers, have Archie and Eli come out and meet him at half court like his homecoming. I tell you, I won't, I won't miss Archie around this. 
I mean, Eli, I have all the respect in the world for, and I do for Archie too. But uh, you know, Archie, Archie's just Archie's like the Kardashian. Archie's mind. running the damn league. He's he, Chris Jenner. Yeah, he's Chris. No, no, not Chris Jenner. Yeah, that's her name, Chris Jenner. Yeah, yeah, he's Chris Jenner, man. Yeah. He's pulling all the puppet strings, man. Exactly. Hey, I ain't mad at him. I, I know, but I, I, I think that that's when you'll see him. And honestly, at this point, Bart. I mean, look, if we all know one thing. Based off of the quarterbacks from last year and based off of the quarterbacks that you just ran down, the guys that are going to be available this coming draft, yeah. if Daniel Jones isn't the truth, Dave Gettleman's not going to be here very long. We know that to be the case. Sherman going to be right with him. 